factors with a total project cost of 86.5 million. These primary lines to be completed and energized before the end of December 2009. Yan, yung mga pinanggit ko mga lines na yan. Pagkatapos, andito yung list of completed enclaves. Marami to, Tirona, White Gold, BF Central, Acra, Tierra Maria, etc., etc., about 25 on the list. List of remaining enclaves, ito yung package 1, uh, number of hours, 24 hours. Ito yung mga Lisbon, Aratilis, Canluran, Midwest, BF Thai, Triple T, package 3, number of hours, 24 then. Uh, 4S, BF Southland, Classic, Garden Homes, etc., etc., Kabarus in Package 4, and dito lahat. So, lahat ito, may kopya na. Yung, uh, so, mamaya siguro, pwede yung silipin ito, at uh, kung, kung mapakopya ito ng mabilis-bilis, mapapakopya din yung uh, UBFI before the end of uh, this get-together. So, bali yun lang. So, once again, I would like to congratulate the UBFI. I think the UBFI has been the spark plug, has been the spark plug of uh, this campaign, which really, to me, to me, no, which uh, was really dramatized by the big rally that uh, was organized and conducted by the UBFI. Kailabay rally niyan, August 15, August 15. Binanggit ko nga during the hearing, I, I gave a PowerPoint presentation during the hearing, nasa YouTube yung presentation na yan. I mentioned that BF, BF Homes Paranaque is notorious for a place that is so difficult to conduct rallies. Dito, pag mag-cocus ka, pag mag-political rally ka, maswerte kung merong mga limampung tao. Kung merong isang daan tao mag a -attend. Whatever it is, talagang napakira. But uh, in that uh, August 15 rally, they counted at least 2,000, and that is quite a big rally by any standard. And that really made a very big statement, a very dramatic statement, na talagang uh, nagkakaisa na itong uh, UBF Homes, uh, uh, BF Homes Paranaque. And of course, uh, yan ang uh, nagsuporta. Uh, dito sa ating uh, mga ginagawa, of course, what the mayor has done in the past, the executive order na inisyo ng presidente, all the efforts, and finally, uh, this culminated with that one big hearing, that very dramatic uh, hearing, well-attended hearing in the House of uh, Representatives. And we'd like, uh, I think, we should also thank uh, Congressman Rod Valencia, the chairman of uh, the Committee on uh, Housing and Urban Development. And we should thank also Congressman Amado Bagatsing, a member of the committee, a very active member of the committee, vice chairman, who happens to be the one designated to be the task force head of the task force of BF Water, which met also right after the hearing uh, to meet with uh, several other people para ma-finalize itong mga agreement na ito. And again, it's on YouTube. We were able to forge an agreement between the UBF, uh, between the Manila and the BF uh, Homes Incorporated, witnessed by UBFI and witnessed by the members of the Committee on Housing and Urban Development. That is a formal agreement. It is on the record. Hindi ito yung kamayan lamang after a round of uh, beer. Kundi it's a formal on the record agreement. And uh, as far as we are concerned, in the House of Representatives, that is an enforceable agreement. So yun lang po. Maraming salamat. Thank you so much. Salamat, Congressman Goles. At uh, kami po'y talagang tuwan-tuwa sa developments ngayon. And... Uh, uh, gusto ko lang i-emphasize na all of these things that are happening would not have happened not only because of UBFI but because of all the presidents of the associations, the enclaves. No? Bigyan natin ng malang ng palakpak ang sarili natin. No? Of course, the homeowners who have supported us, no? siguro naman nakita na nil ninyo kung ano ang kaya nating gawin, kung anong kaya nating ma-achieve if only we will work together. So sana itong oneness, itong unity na to, wag na nating bitawan, no? 
there will be more challenges, there will be more changes that will happen in our enclaves, in our village, in our subdivision, not only in Paranaque, including those in Las Piñas and in Montinlupa, but we have to stick together. This is our only home, so magsama-sama tayo, magtulungan tayo. No. And again, magpapasalamat ulit tayo kay Congressman, not only for the merienda that uh, he provided us this afternoon, no? salamat po, but of course, the continuing effort that he gives to support us. No? And uh, at this point, I would like to call on uh, our counselor, who has also been very supportive in all our efforts, no? and probably he would like to give us also uh, some thoughts. No? Can we now call on Cong uh, counselor Goles? No? Thank you, Tony. Magandang hapon po sa aking mga fellow kapitbahay. Siyempre, pinabati ko po muna ang uh, mga board members at si uh, President, uh, President Arceo, of course, Tony Tinsayan, uh, all the board. Uh, you know, this is a very historic day also for all of us because just like you, kung ano po yung problema nyo, yun din po ang puno problema ko. You can just imagine maliligo ka, bigla na lang walang tubig, tapos puno ka ng sabon. It happens to us also quite a few times here in BF Homes. And uh, like most of you, uh, me and my dad arrived here around 1977 or 78 when the water was very strong and then suddenly in the mid-80s, medyo deep well na lang until early 90s, nawala ng konti hanggang tuluyan ang nawala. And as a city councillor, when I was elected in 2004 and re-elected in 2007, the problem in BF homes, especially the water, has been always been the talk of the city council. So way back in 2008, and also in conference with our uh, city mayor, June Bernabe, I was also tasked together with the other councillors to provide a resolution that will uh, authorize the mayor to uh, to authorize the mayor to use his police powers in helping my Milad uh, in laying up the pipes here in BF Homes. And uh, with my fellow councillors, I was uh, also one of the main proponents in that resolution that was also uh, highlighted during the congressional inquiry. I have the copy of that uh, resolution right now, and uh, maybe later on during meriendas, I will uh, share that copies to each and every one of you, para naman po makita niyo kung ano po ang trabaho ng inyong mga konsihal sa sangguni ang panglungsod. And uh, you, you can always, you can see that uh, this is not only the efforts of your government officials, of course, this is also the efforts mainly of the homeowners and as elected officials, we will only